loves. I actually haven't been to my local LV boutique in ages. As you guys saw in Sydney, I went to LV, but it was a very small store. So I did want to check out some of their new collection, not just the Kusama collection, because to be honest, some of her collection, although I appreciate art, it's probably a little bit out there for me, but they still have a lot of new product. So I know you guys love LV vlogs and you've been requesting me to show some more of the new product. So I've just paused the video here because after filming this vlog, I got a text from my new essay apologizing, but she told me I can no longer film in LV and that's why I've titled this vlog my last LV vlog. Apparently this might be a new Australia-wide policy. So I'm really sorry guys, but of course if I'm able to and I'm allowed to, I will always vlog LV for you. So I thought I'll take you guys along and we'll check it out together. You can tell me your honest opinions and I'll let you know mine as well. So if you love shopping vlogs, I would love you to hit that red button and join the family. And I will catch you in a bit. Hey guys, I'm in LV. I hope it's not too loud. So the second drop of the Kusama has come in. You can see with the polka dots and it's got a little pumpkin chain. These ones are not too bad. They're not too crazy. There's some other ones that are with faces, which I'll show you, which is probably not my style. But I do like that they're celebrating, you know, a very renowned Japanese artist. So her works are very, very famous. Okay, so this is what I mean. This is the pumpkin range. There's a whole range of leather goods. This is the on the go tote in small, which I really like. Got the LV twist with the top handle. Some more pumpkins. Okay, so we've got the LV on the go tote. This is the new range. This one's got the fish. And then this one has got some of the faces. But that's interesting. Can you see here? I'll just zoom up. The exaggerated twist with the humongous buckle. So here's some of the nautical collection, the Neo No Way, the Alma BB, you can see the chain sort of detail, the Neverfall. I do like the Neverfall in Azure. Oh my gosh, it's flickering. So sorry about the flicker, guys. Here we have the women's ready to wear. Let's look at some of the shoes first. These ones have just come out in new colors. I own this in gold. I do love them. I don't know all the names, but obviously this is like a version of the twist, but I guess, I don't even know if it's called the twist shoe. The flats, some denim mules, which are quite cute with the sort of flower detail heel. And then we've got the twist with the top handle. And then more of the women's collection, as I said, very out there. And then just showing you guys, this is my outfit. This was my last ready to wear piece from LV, which I really like because the LV is actually really subtle and entwined in the logo. And then I'm just wearing my Chanel pearl mules and I've just left my bag in the VIP room. Look at these blinged up ones. Oh, I like, quite like these. You know me, I always like a bit of bling. But then this is cute as well. Like this has just got a little piece of decoration with the LV. This is actually super soft, but I'm actually getting a lot more into sneakers. And this is fun with the turquoise and the orange. Obviously still the arch light going strong. That's been going for quite a few number of years now. And then we've got a little more of a platform sort of sneaker and then some espadrilles. I think this might be part of their nautical collection. So this is more preppy. So you've just got the LV badge there. 
Yeah, some sort of silky shorts with rope detail. Yes, this must be their nautical collection. I'm so sorry about the flickering, guys. Okay, if I move backwards, it's a little bit better. Okay, so this is a lot more wearable. This is like a denim jacket. You can see the zip's got the, you know, small monogram on it. And then just something plain. That's probably a bit boring. A little t-shirt with a little denim vest. Some cute little pants, cargo pants with the LV on the pocket. So quite subtle and even on the cuff of the pan as well. And then there's this dress here. I wanted to try on the shorts, but I, they don't really have it. They don't have as much stock. I feel like online's got a lot more stock. This is the neutral, I guess, range. I do like their pajama silk pants. Just not sure if I would wear that. Some of the plain t-shirts, a little LV jumper with LV buttons here. This little jacket, which is quite cute. And then you guys know I own this wrap coat. I think this is such a classic piece, so I love this one. So I feel like the men's range is a little bit more wearable, at least with the denim and the dots is not as much. So the t-shirt, yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm sorry guys if you like this, but look at this one with the shielding. That's a little bit crazy with the faces. Let's have a look at some of the shoes. Maybe hubby might like some of the shoes, but he does have a pair of denim sneakers. Again, these are not new. Just showing you some of the sneakers. They even have this version, very out there. And then these sandals, which are, you know, a lot more wearable. And then the black and white versions. Okay, so this is the menswear. That's why I said the pumpkin range, at least when it's on the gray canvas, isn't as crazy. some of the jewelry this lighting is just not great oh but you know what I'm obsessed with these should I get this for my Alma isn't it cute you just want to eat it and then look the mini Neonoe yeah I love it some more of the jewellery. I don't really buy LV costume jewellery, but that's quite interesting. The one with the rose gold and then the mother of pearl LV inside. Maybe I should try that. And then we've got some of the scarves, sunnies. Here is another mini couple scenes. This one, I love the colour, but not sure about the enamel top handle. But this is gorgeous. So this is a special edition bag. Of course, you know I love Lizard, but I do own the twist in the same, you know, ombre Lizard. But interesting to know that this is a limited edition style. It's called the Swing, actually. I love it. It's really nice. Okay, look at this. All these mini couple scenes. We've got this one in this very bright green, but it's got a pink interior. So that is like 8550 This one you guys know I already love. I just owned it in the BB size, but the mini version is really good. I love it as well. And then the white as well with the, with the python, but people are a bit more scared of white. The orange is cute, probably not as wearable. This one is really nice, just like a mixture of a really pale pink, yellow and cream. This is in the BB size. This one here looks like this. 
okay let's try on some ready to wear first up is this leather mini skirt it's got embossed monogram all over i love the oversized zipper but this one was a bit too tight i really liked it though but it was pretty expensive close to seven thousand. now this a-line monogram mini it's cute but i'm not sure about the red this is an older style it's sort of like in a terry toweling fabric but yeah i didn't love love it but i did like the shoes these are the arch light sling bags super comfortable love the pointed heel the little bit of monogram but yes i did like these a lot next up is this really classic preppy blazer preppy wool blazer i should say and i do like the embroidered pocket i do like the gold tone lv buttons so it is a very classic style i just wasn't sure it was worth the price just because of the lv logo but i did like this whole nautical look so i've paired the blazer with some of the silk pajama bottoms and i quite like this look as well i'm not sure if i would get that much wear out of the silk bottoms i feel like if i were to get it i would prefer it in black but they didn't have that in this version this is also a pair of pajama pants, but this one has striped accents. This is from their newer line. So really love the color, but I don't know if it's too much monogram. So since I'm trying the pants on, might as well try on the full look with the shirt as well. What do you guys think? Does this look too pajamery or is it very chic loungewear? I think when you do the French tuck, it looks nicer, but is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down from you guys? Comment below and let me know. Okay, here is the first drop, which was all the dots. She's really famous for her dot paintings. And yeah, she was a very sort of performative artist. So I'm glad that they're celebrating. I know not everyone loves it, but I love art. And you know, it's amazing because Kasuma's like 93 years old now, I think. And some of the fine jewelry. Is this or is this not the most cutest little dollhouse? Super, super expensive, but you've got little Vivienne. So, so cute. She's even got a little trunk up there for her jewelry. Oh my God, I love it. And here we've got all the hard side luggage. Do you know that you can get it customized now? So got an artist here she's customizing Vivienne I love that should I get Chai and Chino on one of them look they do animals so so cute I really like this parka this leather parka, but it's super, super expensive. So a new style it is called the ivy wallet on chain cute it comes with this shorter shoulder chain as well so that's what it looks like but it also comes with a longer chain so this one's a pretty good price point here are some of the LV scarves always a fan of their scarves well I should say hubby's a fan of their scarves but he doesn't want anything today Still, I wanted to take one final look, so just looking at some of the men's sneakers because I know hubby loves sneakers. I quite like this black and white one, but he wasn't a fan. But nevertheless, it doesn't hurt looking right. And even this one here with the embossed monogram and just that touch of leather on the back. Here are just some of the classic LV belts in various leathers. And then I actually found the arch-like slingbacks, but in the monogram version, which I think are more classic, they also come in the pumps as well, which you can just see behind me. Both of them so, so comfortable. But I kept gravitating towards this sneaker. I just love the LV bling detail. 
and it is super comfortable as well but I'm just not sure if it's too similar to my Roger Vivier. So next I had to quickly pop into Hermes to pick up something and this is the windows. So no bags in the window but they had a couple of special bags on display. This amazing tricolor Constance in shiny alligator. They also had the new Birkin Disorder. This is in the 30. It's in a combination of Togo and Swift. Definitely very different. And then something a little bit more commercial, which is nautical inspired, is the In The Loop bag, which I really like. And it is inspired by the Chain Dunk link. And you can see that on the handle and even on the closure of the bag. So I'm just trying on the 18 versus the 23. Honestly, I love both. I think the proportions on the 23 might be a little bit nicer because the handle is like longer. I love that even on the bottom of the bag, you can see the Chain Dunk detail. And with this bag, you can actually wear the sides tucked in. So I love the versatility of it. I actually think it's quite elegant as well. And also, of course, the 18 is super cute. Both of them, you can't go wrong. And then, yes, as it's such a rare piece, I definitely asked to try on the Birkin Disorder. What do you guys think? I actually kind of like that it's a bit quirky and a modern take on the Birkin with the diagonal flap and the outside pocket. But would love to hear your thoughts. And yes, as you can see, I did pick up a few things from LV and Hermes, which I will reveal very soon. Okay, so that was a long appointment in LV, but a lot of fun. I met a new SA and yes, I did pick up a couple of goodies. And also you would have seen a little bit of footage from Hermes. Also picked up a couple of things from Hermes as well. So if you like this shopping vlog, give this video a thumbs up. And I will catch you soon in my next one. Bye, guys.